Well, residents in the high country have an unusual way to recycle any old Christmas trees that may have survived this far into January. They held a giant bonfire that lit up Frisco tonight. Melissa Garcia shows us how the annual tradition brings the community together and raises money for a good cause. Frisco residents have been piling up their old Christmas trees since the beginning of this month. Now they're all going up in flames. Three, Tossing in flares to light up the trees. The crackling pines also lit up smiling faces. Goodbye Christmas! <laughs> Warming bodies and spirits. Absolutely, and it's not cold anymore. Bringing families from near and far to see the Christmas tree bonfire. I think it's a great use of the Christmas trees and yeah. it is fun. Trevor Hill and Maraid Gilluli came from Denver. We honestly came up to see this. Yeah. It just seemed like the best way to enjoy like the beauty of outdoors in Colorado, but not freeze our butts off because of a nice, beautiful bonfire. Nancy Gallagher comes every year from Dillon. How many Christmas trees are there? There's 3,000 residents. I bet there's 3,000 Christmas trees. If the glowing flames weren't enough to keep them warm from the freezing cold, the chilly was. Proceeds from the grub benefit the Summit Nordic Ski Club. It provides a lot of opportunities for a lot of people. I mean, college scholarships are huge for everyone, and you get the opportunity to travel around the state and the country. Helping kids like Paige and Alex compete in the white winter sport. It's awesome. Here in Summit County, I think we're pretty tight-knit, and we want to all be together, and we want to support the local kids. Supporting kids and having fun as glowing embers flew into the night. This is the city's 15th year of burning the bonfire. In Frisco, Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First.